Hey, Pastor Scott here with The Daily Word. I want to read a passage uh, in 2 Chronicles 20 about the power of praise and just this amazing uh, victory that comes from a thankful heart. We read in, in verse 1 that there were these three armies that come together, they band together to, to attack the nation. There were uh, Jeho- Jehoshaphat was the, the king uh, of God's people. And said, messengers came and told Jehoshaphat that a vast army from Edom is marching against you from the Dead Sea. They're already at Hazazon Tamar. you got to say it like confident. Uh, this was a, also known as Engedi. Jehoshaphat was terrified by the news and begged the Lord for guidance. He also ordered everyone in Judah to begin fasting. So people from all the towns of Judah came to Jerusalem to seek the Lord's help. Jehoshaphat stood before the community of Judah and Jerusalem in front of the new courtyard at the temple of the Lord, and he prayed, O Lord, God of our ancestors, you alone are the God who is in heaven. You are the ruler of all the kingdoms of the earth. You are powerful and mighty. No one can stand against you. O our God, did you not drive out those who lived in this land when your people is from Israel arrived? Did you not give this land forever to the descendants of your friend Abraham? Your people settled here and built this temple to honor your name. They said, whenever we're faced with calamities such as war or plague or famine, we will come and stand in your presence before this temple where your name is honored. We will cry out to you and you will save us. You will hear us and rescue us. Now see what these armies are doing to us. You would not let our ancestors invade those nations when Israel left Egypt. So they went around them and did not destroy them. Now this is their reward for us, for they've come to throw us out of your land, which you've given us as an inheritance. Oh God, won't you stop them? We're powerless against this mighty army that's about to attack us. We don't know what to do. We're looking to you for our help. And it's all the men of Judah stood before the Lord with their little ones, their wives, and their children. The Spirit of the Lord came upon one of the men standing there. And he said, listen, all you people of Judah and Jerusalem. Listen, King Jehoshaphat. This is what the Lord says. Don't be afraid. Don't be discouraged by this mighty army, for the battle is not yours, but God's. And then early the next morning, down in verse 20, the army of Judah went out to the wilderness of Tekoa. On the way, Jehoshaphat stopped and said, Listen to me, all you people of Judah and Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, and you'll be able to stand firm. Believe in his prophets, and you'll succeed. After consulting the people, the king appointed singers to walk ahead of the army, singing to the Lord and praising him. For his holy splendor. This is what they sang. Give thanks to the Lord for his faithful love endures forever. At that very moment, they began to sing and praise the Lord. The Lord caused the three armies to start fighting amongst themselves. The armies of Moab and Ammon turned against their allies from Mount Seir and killed every one of them. After they destroyed the army of Seir, they began attacking each other So that when the army of Judah arrived at the lookout point in the wilderness, all they saw were dead bodies laying on the ground. As far as they could see, not a single one of them had escaped. And then on down to verse 29. When all the surrounding kingdoms heard that the Lord himself had fought against the enemies of Israel, the fear of God came over them. So Jehoshaphat's kingdom was at peace, for his God had given him rest on every side. There's power in worship. There's power in having a thankful heart. There's power in starting your, your day by going, Lord, I, I can't face this on my own. Show me what to do and then just praise him and worship him and watch him come through in your life. Be encouraged today.